Good day to all the learners deck viewers out there. So today in this tutorial we'll be discussing about an important feature which is called zoom. So zoom is actually a feature which can be demonstrated as the summary section of your presentation or you can link different slides through this particular section and please rest assured that whatever you'll do will be animated in a perfect way and by using this feature you'll be able to make a perfect summary section for your presentation so let me give you an introduction let's go to the slideshow and this is uh, our summary section and these are the five sli six slides that we have created uh, if i'll click in any of these slides see it will go to that particular slide and it will start uh, the animation or the text that particular slide has after that when i'll click on the slide it will bring me back to this section so this is how you can deal with this this x perfectly right uh, along your presentation so this will be a perfect ingredient if you are working for or looking for a perfect summary section so let's start and see how we can do this so the very first thing that we'll be doing within our presentation is we'll go to the view ribbon and we'll insert ruler and grid lines as we'll be dealing with different shapes and animations so it's important that uh, we know that where these shapes are placed and what is the correct alignment now let's go to insert and let's put it in this way the very first shape that we have is a line the very first thing here i'll be doing is i'll go to this format background when i'll click right click on the slide i'll go to format background a screen on my right hand side will appear i'll just give it a black color see now this is my shape when i'll click on my shape a format shape window on right hand side will appear i'll change the width of this shape and i'll just make it 10 maybe so that it becomes more visible right so you can also change the color and uh, I would like to keep the color as this one. Now let me go to the insert ribbon and insert a word art. I'll select a word art maybe the first one is one. I'll use the same color as used by the shape. So you don't have to worry just go here tax fill and go to the eyedropper use this particular color perfect now i'll change the size of this text the size of the digit one so that uh, it is in accordance with this line now perfect now i'll go to the shape i'll add some animations to it the animations that we have just shown to you are the effects the motion path effects so i'll go to here more motion paths and uh, we'll select the effect which is called as right I'll select this as you can see on the preview on my background I'll just uh, move it further up what I want is when my line moves over this letter or over this digit then this digit sh should appear and this line should be uh, disappear at that point of time now let's add another animation and the exit animation for this particular line should be disappear okay now i'll go and i'll select this option which is a digit and the entrance that i would like from this is it should appear like a wipe yes perfect and i would like it to start from left this way all these animations should be should start with or after the previous as we don't want any dependency on the click button so I'll make it I'll go to this animation pane and I'll just change the timing of each animation uh, currently uh, the timings are not correct as I'll just try to show you let me play it from here see the line comes here it disappears and then the digit will appear so let me go to the slideshow and see what happens okay so we have created our first slide now the easiest thing that you need to do is duplicate the slide and we'll try to duplicate it around four different slides so these are the four different slides uh, now we just need to change this number we are changing this number so that 
uh, when we'll click uh, on the summary zoom or on the summary section so we can easily identify if the correct slide is open and animated or not similarly in order to make it uh, much more viewer oriented we'll try to change the color of all these digits and make it different for all slides so here we can keep it like this and uh, similarly for the line what we can do is i'll click here and i'll use the eyedropper the eyedropper actually makes sure that the color of the digit and the line is same so you can you do have different options uh, which my microsoft powerpoint provides you you can use any of these options so i'll use yellow color and for shape i'll use the eyedropper you can always select the yellow color from here as well so now only one slide is left and i'll change the color to let's make it uh, let's use some highlighting color and I'll be using maybe green now let me change the color of this line as well by using the same eyedropper method and here's the method perfect now we have created four different slides and they all have numbers one two three four now it's easy now you need to go to the insert tab or the insert ribbon within this links dialog box you can see an option zoom when you click on this drop down menu currently two different options are available summary zoom and the slide zoom reason behind this is that the section zoom is currently disabled because we do not have any sections within our powerpoint slides so let us create a summary zoom here when i'll create a summary zoom i'll it will ask me which slides you would like to participate in this summary section I'll click on all these slides I'll insert enter see a new slide appear with all the available slides which I have checked y you can insert a text if you would like but I'll just change the color of the background and that's it uh, let's uh, change the color to maybe this one go to format background and the color let's change it with respect to the gradient perfect so now let's uh, try to play it when i'll go to the slideshow see all four slides are available here see what happens when I, when my mouse pointer is here it's in a normal condition but as soon as it reaches any of these slides it changes to a hand tool which means that these slides are linked to something within the presentation now let me click on the slide to see what happens when i'll click here it will move to slide 2 and whatever is available in that particular slide uh, that would be shown on your screen when I'll click on the slide again after the presentation it will bring me back to the summary section it is perfect so now you don't need to worry about adding animations to your summary sections so just focus on the material and on the matter and the subject of your slides this feature will automatically detect or will automatically do what you would like to do within the summary section now you can see that we have two sections within our slide section one and these are the remaining sections so now when i'll click on the zoom option the section zoom is also available so what you can actually do is you can insert a new slide and the new slide should be blank and here i'll try to insert a section zoom and within the section zoom i'll select two slides one and four here are these so both slides are now available I can change the size of these slides for example I can change it uh, according to my requirement this is how you can change the size of the slides we can change the color of the background you can insert any image on the background as well currently I'll just change the color of the background and let's make it dark gray so now when I'll go to slideshow see what happens I have two different slides but when I'll click on the slide it will take me to slide one and whatever is there will be played and after that when I'll click here it will bring me back to the slide when I'll click on this gray mark see what happens it will pop up to the next upcoming slide which was in this case two. so this is how the zoom function works you can create a wonderful animated summary section for all your professional and uh, uh, maybe teaching slides so this is perfect and this 
this option is already built in so you don't need to worry about adding too much animations within your presentation make sure that uh, you understood this and try to uh, practice it yourself do provide us with your feedback thanks for watching this video but make sure that you have subscribed to our youtube channel which is learner deck so that you don't miss any of the upcoming videos thanks for watching this one